Generators function with the help of other objects, either spline or polygon. So it basically does nothing without any objects and usually have the color green. The extrude object works with only splines. It takes the shape of the spline and makes it into a 3D object with depth. It works with all splines, either created in Cinema 4D or other softwares like Illustrator. So I'll go ahead and create a spline. So I'll click on this menu here and it will drop down to open all the splines we have. I'll choose text. I can I want to create another spline. So I'll come here, create, come to spline and select either of these. And I'll choose the flower spline. So I have two splines in it. And let's extrude both. So to create an extrude object, we come to create generator and we'll choose extrude. Now to make the either of them extrude, I'll use this flower first. You select it, drag it and drop it on the extrude. You see there will be this white highlight you let go and your instantly your extrude is generated to do another thing this time i'll choose the extrude from the uh, generator menu here click on it and our extrude is created same way i'll select the text drag and drop it on it so we see the white highlight drag and drop on it and our text extrude is, is created you can select the extrude object come to its attributes manager and here we can adjust its size and other properties as well. The late object works with splines. It takes an object and rotates it on its own Y axis. I mean the late object own Y axis to generate polygon surface. So I have a spline created and I'll enable it. And when you take a look at it, it looks like a wine glass, a half size, half part of a wine glass. Now to use a lathe object come to create generate lead select the spline drag and drop it till you see the white highlight and you let go you see it creates a 360 degrees of the spline you can select the lead object come to its attribute manager and you can actually change its attribute here so for example we can change its angle from 360 and you see it, it shows you how is it created the spline so if you bring it down to a very less angle it shows you how the spline was created same way bring it to 360 it creates a full wine glass you can go ahead and create another spline so i can use the spline pen tool and i'll draw anything hit escape and I'll create lead. This time I'll come to the generator menu here, select lead, take the spline, drag and drop it into it. And you see it gives us the shape of the spline that we created. We can still, whilst we are in the lead, go into the spline object, select either of the points of the spline, and still adjust our lead. Uh, the shape of our late object and use this one to adjust it so that's for the late object the loft object extend polygon surfaces between two or more splines so I'll go ahead and create a circle move it back go ahead and create another circle and let it move it a little bit forward maybe make this one smaller and to create a loft object we go same way into our generator and create a loft object you can select the circles and drag and drop it into the loft object so you can select both at the same time and drag and drop it and you see it creates a surface like polygon surface using blending between the two splines you can actually go ahead and create more surface so i can come in here and create an end side drag and drop it into it and the, the other it's important so i drag and drop it as the last one and move it to where i want it to be so in this case i have to, i move it back and now i have the end side added to it same way you select the loft object come to its um attribute manager and you can increase its um mesh subdivisions here so you increase it more and maybe increase it polygon attributes here you can go ahead and add more splines so i can come in and add star drag and drop it it can be the last one 
move it for it to follow the sequence that we are going you can see now we have something different and you can create something in the middle as well but it must follow the sequence so let me go ahead and create a circle in here i'll drag and drop it let's say somewhere in the middle here so it must be in between the two in the same arrangement like i've done in the uh, object manager should be the same in the viewport so if i should hide the this in, in, in disable the loft you see the arrangement of the splines enable it so it moves is extend the sub, uh, polygon surfaces smoothly between the two you can come here to adjust its mesh and to get make it a bit more smoother and you can see that by coming to display garage shading and you can see when you increase it we reduce it it shows you the number and all that so that's for the loft object the sweep object just like its name says can take two splines and use the shape of one spline to sweep it along the shape of the second spline so i can come in here and create a spline so click and hold it to choose any spline i'll choose a helix out and let's zoom out to see the helix and now to create a second spline you we'll come in again and i'll choose a star so i have a star and a helix i'll make the star smaller and to create a sweep object you come into just like any generator create generate generator and choose uh, your sweep sweep object now the first object will be the one that will move along this, uh, the spline of the second object. So the star will be our first object. And the next is our helix. So that will make sure it's under the star. When we see that line, white line, we let go. Now you can see the spline. The star has been drawn smoothly on the helix. So we can make it a bit smaller to see it properly. You can still go ahead, select the helix. And extend it make it tight and you can see it how it's sweeping along the helix we can change it maybe we delete the spline let's use a different uh, spline like a rectangle make it smaller and drag it make sure it's the first object and it moves smoothly along the path of the helix it can even be a text object so I can come here choose a text object make it same way smaller make it the first one and you, the text moves smoothly along uh, the path of the helix you can select the sweep object come to it attribute manager and here you can change its attribute so we can actually adjust its skill and uh, come here so make sure you drag this up Dr click on the detail to drop down and you can influence its skill so can make it smaller at the top by using this curve or smaller in the beginning or maybe in the middle can create click hold control and click uh, create extra point drag it to make the middle smaller or can do can adjust it to our taste can see we come to the rotation with the same um curves you can actually select this one move it up to rotate it select this one move it down to rotate it so and within the sweep can go up and you can make it grow on so you can select the end group and you can see it forms up smoothly so any shape moves smoothly along it you can use the end growth at the same thing and it will grow backwards so that's the sweep object as well subdivision surface one of the most simplest but powerful tools, especially for modeling characters and organic objects. To create a subdivision object, you come to create just like any generator, generator subdivision surface. Now, what it does is it subdivides object and smoothens it. So, for instance, if I come in here and I should create a cube, when I put it into the subdivision object, it smoothens it edges totally but for instance maybe i can come in here and increase the segments of the cube to let's say 10 by 10 by 10. you see it's, it tries to keep its cube shape but still has smooth edges so i can select away and you can see we have the cube still here 
but it have smooth edges if i uncheck the subdivision surface we have a very sharp hard edge cube so basically it smoothens the edges of every object and it can help you to model every object uh, any organic object especially and characters very very well so if i use the platonic object same we drag and drop it into it it works on that one object at a time so if you want to work with a multiple object you have to group it and put it into it so i'll take off the cube and i'll enable it same way it smoothens the platonic object maybe i'll go into it and increase the segment you see it tries to keep its shape but still it gives it that smooth edges and it's best it works best with quad objects triangle gives it a bit um roughness but best with a uh, quad object can come into its attribute manager and there's not much to uh, change here get the subdivision editor for render and things you can increase it and decrease it depending on how smooth you want the thing to be